Okay, I didn't manage to get to shoot a film. <laughs> Never mind. So here we have uh, a bit of a leader, 35mm leader. It's it's obviously exposed, it's exceedingly well exposed now, um, but it's undeveloped. And we're going to test... I've got some developers here. We're going to test four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, very quickly, this is a good test to see if your developers are working or not. And I've got a thermometer because I couldn't find my syringe with its blunt needle on it. And all we do is reset that clock. We're going to time it. It's not reset very well, has it? That's better. Make sure it's fully wound, which it is. And we're just going to... Take a little drip. This is the rosinol we've made. It hasn't turned pink. I'm a bit concerned. It should have, all the instructions say it will turn pink and it hasn't. So we just take a drop out of there and we touch it on the film and press the go button. And I'm gonna wash off the end of that. And what we're looking for is that little dot to go black. We'll put that out of the way. Still recording, still recording. And that's 25 seconds. And it's getting really boring. We've got others here. We've got HC110. I've got some very old FD10, which is a fellow speed developer. And we've got the, um, the the original Rosinol, which we laughingly call Coke Concentrate. I know the FD10 will work. FD10, the HC110 will work. Don't know about the FD. That's coming up to a minute. That's long enough. Okay, right. Nothing's happened yet. Reset clock. And which one should we do next? Let's do the Rosinol next. This is one that's got stuff uh, living in the bottom. You can hear it rattling. Uh, they tell me rod and all like this is, is, is good. I I don't know because I can't even get the... Hang on. Use the force! There we go. There we go. Yes, we had to use quite a bit of the force there. Um... I just dip that in there, get a drop on the end, stick it on the film, start the clock. Rinse that off in there. Shove it back in the big pot. And you can see that's going black. So the rosinol is good. That's 10 seconds. Yeah, that's fine. That's how it should go. 15 seconds, it's gone black. The, the made up Rosinol hasn't moved yet. Uh, and we'll now try the FD10. Which I don't know how old this is, eight years old. It'll probably come out cherry red. It's, oh, it's clear. Oh, you've got a blob on there and a blob on there. And a set of clock going a bit slow there, setting clock going. And I won't be surprised at all if this doesn't... Well, it's gone yellow. It's, it's doing better than the homemade Rosinol did. The real Rosinol, as you can see... I think with my finger in the way. The real Rosinol, as you can see, that's the blob of real Rosinol. Real Rosinol. That's really black. That's the FD10, which has got slightly yellow. That, which you can't really see at all is the homemade rodders. Um, yeah, okay, that's not going, that's had nearly a minute now. We'll just let it come to the minute. That's the next one. HC110, which is supposed to be a long life Kodak developer. And I've certainly had it a couple of years. Now that's not going anywhere, is it? So the last one then, we will do, I'll show you the bottle. 
voila, the Kodak HC110. It's not as yellow as this when I bought it, but it's still not as yellow as, well, most of them have gone blood red by now. Uh, yeah, the lid's falling apart. Okay, I'm going to have to go and wash my hands in quite a hurry in a minute. We'll do this first. We'll, we'll take the risk. And this stuff is like syrup. Plonk, go. It's going dark, isn't it? It's probably too thick to impregnate the grain. Uh, it better. I'll have to test this again in later. It's had 35 seconds and nothing's happened. Maybe it just needs a little bit of water on it. I'll mix it with a little bit of water. And I've certainly done something. Yeah, there it goes. Look. Yeah, it was just too thick to do anything to the emulsion. It needed that little bit of water to run it down. This had, had a minute, mind. And it's going black. It will work. That's that's fine. But it's that simple. If the film doesn't go black when you put the neat developer on it, just a little drop. If the film doesn't go black, forget it. It's scrap. So out of our four developers, we've got two that work. The original Rosanol that looks like coke syrup with stuff rattling around in the bottom and the HC110 from Kodak they both fine the eight-year-old photo speed FD10 isn't and our new homemade rod and all isn't doing anything either oh hang on yes it is it's been about five minutes mind but there is just a slight darkening going on there um, and I suspect that's purely because of the al alkali content. Okay, we'll come back hopefully with a film to play with. And we'll come back soon.